So in a previous video we looked at uh, the MC bus and we looked at how it controlled the different units uh, and how it, how it operated and then we came up with this little accessory here that we could use to uh, power up our amplifiers without using a Cyrus uh, source and that's all fine. But during that uh, project I kind of found that the MC bus on the Mono X300 just wasn't as reliable as some of the other uh, amplifiers. Um, so let's let's see if we can actually uh, show what I found. So here we are, all our units are in standby, and if we turn on our amplifier, then our, our Mono X's come on and off. We've confused it and it's and then it won't turn off. And what I found is well, there it eventually did it there. What I found is generally if you leave it on for some seconds, then it's a bit more reliable. Even there it didn't didn't go off. And there's nothing wrong with these units, this is just how this is behaving. Seems to get itself a bit confused. Uh, now, the, the logic in these uh, units have changed since the previous monoblocks. Um, so it's a different implementation of the MC bus. And maybe that's uh, where some of this is coming from. And it worked after a decent delay. So this gives us a bit of a uh, question then, you know, how can I then say that my unit is going to be any more reliable? Uh, a, than the Cyrus units and how can I measure that? Uh, clearly I can connect this up and do the on off on off and uh, get some results from that but that's a bit kind of random and uh, so I wonder if we can uh, do something a bit more uh, uh, orderly really. So let's take a look at what the plan is. So when I first started thinking about this I thought I'd be using some traditional measurement equipment and uh, you know, a bit of a cumbersome setup to uh, do and just a bit of a pain. Um, but it's actually, we can do it in a, a much more simple way here because we don't need to generate any graphs or any kind of fancy data or anything like this. We just want to gather some information to tell us how many cycles we've done uh, and that they've been done successfully. So this is this is the plan here. So here's our amplifiers that we're going to be uh, testing here. And we're going to have a, a test source going into these amplifiers. And on the output, we'll just have a rectifier. And so that will give me a logic 1 when I've got a signal, and it'll give me a logic 0 when I have no signal. Uh, and so we'll then feed that into another microcontroller. We'll use Arduino again. So we'll feed our, our uh, logic into that. And that will also control the power to our uh, MC bus trigger unit. Um, so this guy is going to know if that amplifier should be on or off and uh, it can measure whether it's on or off by looking at this logic line and then we can just, uh, you know, we can cycle this thing and uh, count, count the cycles on a PC and look at the, look at the results. Um, so this is the plan. Uh, let's go and take a look at the, the code that we'll use in the Arduino here and we'll see just how simple it is. Here's our code and uh, so we're, we're using the serial bus to transfer the information from the Arduino to the PC so that we can actually, uh, what we'll do is we'll just use the, uh, where is it now, the uh, uh, serial monitor here um, to actually look at the, the values that's, that we're counting through. Um, so we're going to use that uh, serial bus. Um, and then I'm just setting some pins here, so I've got my output pin that I'm going to use to toggle the power to the uh, control it to the uh, trigger unit um, and then we're going to have an input pin that we're just going to take our logic from our power amps uh, so that's us and then in the in the code what we're going to do is uh, so this uh, digital right here that turns on the uh, amp or it should do anyway and then after 10 seconds what we're going to do is read that logic line and it should be logic one if the amplifier is on it should be logic one if it's a logic zero, then we're going to say that's a failure to turn on. 
Uh, and then similarly, we'll, when we turn off, here's the setting, setting the pin 2 to a, a logic 0, it's turning us off. And then we'll wait for 5 seconds, and uh, by that time the amplifier should be off, so we should be leading, reading a logic 0. If we're reading a 1, then we've got a failure to turn off. Uh, and if all of these things are good, then we just print the value of our uh, loop. So we're starting with a value 1 here and then we, we print that at this point and then we just increment that value and we keep repeating this loop um, and so we just count up and uh, we, sh we should see uh, we shouldn't be seeing this on fail or off fail we should just see the number sequence going up and we'll be able to count how many cycles we can do um, before there's any failure and uh, make some decisions based on that um, so let's go and uh, we'll connect this up and uh, start it off and see how it behaves Here's our setup then, uh, and I, I mean the main objective of this whole thing is to show the reliability or prove the reliability of my trigger unit, um, and I've actually uh, given I found this sort of issues with the X three hundreds. I've changed my code in the in my trigger unit to try and overcome some of the limitations in the Cyrus units. How I've done that is when I ask to turn on, I do it multiple times. And when I send the turn off command, I also do it multiple times. So uh, we're giving ourselves the best chance of the Cyrus unit actually listening to what we're asking it to do. Um, so that's that's the whole aim of this thing. So we've got our uh, trigger unit, uh, and then I've got my Arduino here, and I'm just using a relay to switch 12 volts to the trigger unit, and then we'll run the code and uh, see what kind of results we get. So let's connect the Arduino up to the PC now, and we'll kick this thing off and see how we go. So here's our code running in the unit here, we've all connected up and uh, our amplifier should be there, we've switched off. If we give it five seconds, should come back on again. There we go, and we're just going to cycle around that. Um, so I'm just going to leave this running and uh, go and have a cup of tea and we'll come back and look at the results. So here's our code running uh, and we've done a couple of cycles here, successfully enough so far. Um, so, as I say, cup of tea, and we'll come back in a while and see how we're doing. Sometime later then, and uh, if we look through our results here, um, I, I ran it up to somewhere over 100 readings, and then these failures here, this is when I turn the, the uh, 12 volt power supply off, so we start to get failures there, obviously. So it proves my code is actually looking for these things and detecting them. Um, but we're obviously way over 100 readings there and, and no errors, no errors while we're, while we're doing our checks there. So I'm quite happy that uh, uh, this is, uh, you know, that's a good, a good test of reliability of this thing here. There's absolutely no doubt um, from what I've, you know, I've done a lot more experimenting than I've showed here, but there's no doubt that the, the X300 amp is uh, significantly more ticklish um, on the sort of MC bus uh, behaviour there, so uh, I found other amps were just far, far more, it just found no issues whatsoever, um, so it was only the X300 that sent me down this path of doing this uh, extra regression testing. So there we are, I'm, I'm quite happy that uh, my little uh, trigger unit's as reliable as it can be um, with the various Cyrus uh, units.